Bite him, lad! Get him! Let go! Get down! Stay there! Get him, Bob. Up! On your feet! These guys who are doing the Hunter Force, they'd like nothing better than to grab hold of, you know, a, 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 a potential SAS guy and beat the out of him, eh? It, it's good, it's interesting until you get captured. <laughs> you know I mean, and that's when the, the, the business starts. During interrogation, candidates are deprived of sleep and placed in stress positions to increase the physical and mental hardship. When you're against the wall, you know, you're, you're physically you're tired, you're, you know, you've had no sleep as well, you know, and you're against that wall. And you, you, your mind drifts off and you've got to, your mind has got to drift off. And when you're in a position against the wall, it's quite surprising how comfortable you, can, comfortable you can become in that position, even though it looks torturous. The best part is going and getting taken for interrogation. Initially, they'll put you through two or three, maybe four different quick interrogation techniques. Name. Rank. Look up, Edward. Edward, look up. You know that he's going to end. Whereas if you're caught for real, you don't know when it's going to end. So there's a big, obviously, a mental release there. Look at me! Look at me! What was your call sign? There's no point standing there looking like that. All I want to know is your call sign. Come you on. know, right, within the next uh, you know, 24, 36 hours, you're out of there and you're, you're finished. You've also got in the back of their head, they kind of take you outside and put a bullet in your head because you know that as well, whereas in the real situation, you don't know that. So mentally, they can't do these things, obviously, to you, you know, but what they're trying to do is prepare you mentally so that you can withstand interrogation without obviously going to the, the extremes which can occur, which are obviously impossible for them to do that. The interrogation phase is the last major hurdle candidates must overcome if they are to pass selection. You need to demonstrate that you can handle the intense psychological pressure. Interrogation is designed to explore the inner man. It's no good being physically as hard as nails if your mental and emotional strengths are weak. Showing any emotion at this stage will mean total failure. Just because you won't answer one stupid little question! I mean, you might just walk over and punch him in the throat. But you can't, you know, Absolutely. then you got others. You want to laugh at them because they're pathetic. But you just got to keep the old deadpan face and just go through it. You know yourself, you go, oh, on another day to go, you know. You, you think, oh, badge, magic, you know, one of the boys. Once they've completed this phase successfully, candidates are ready to become part of the regiment. The SAS call this getting badged. When you get badged, it actually is a bit of an anti-climax, you know, and... Uh, being a guardsman myself, I was expecting a big parade and marching bands and <laughs> all the rest of it, you know, and, uh, but it wasn't quite like that. I just uh, got in and see the RSM uh, get taken up there and uh, we said, OK, well done. <laughs> Threw his berries across the, the desk and changed them over, took your guards berry off, put the SAS berry on. Out the door, that was it. I don't think he even shook their hands. <laughs> Once badged, the existing rank from your parent unit can't be transferred to the regiment. Instead, you become a trooper in the SAS. <laughs>